Hello everyone, this is Key Park, your condo analyst. Today I'm here at the Tridel's head office to uh, tell you and give you a sneak peek of the Queen and Church project. Let's take a look. One of my favorite things about uh, Tridel has to be their presentation center uh, and also used as a decor center uh, located at 4800 Dufferin Street. This is just the state-of-the-art interior selection model suite and I absolutely love it. Let me give you a little quick tour around so you know what you're getting into when you purchase a Tridel product. awards that's won by many different entities, JD Power, Build, Tarion, fantastic, fantastic developer. More awards here. This is Tridel's first launch of the year, um, so we're really excited to head this off, okay? And just know that this is a preliminary preview. So, of course, the name of the site is Queen Church, um, and this downtown reboot hashtag. It's been a little bit of time since Tridel has actually come into the downtown core. So, like I said, the location is right on Queen and Church. This is a good, I think, uh, snippet of just to show you what is in the surrounding area. Okay, so of course you've got uh, transportation, you've got schools, hospitals, shopping, restaurants, all within walking distance. One thing I want to point out, of course, is the Ontario subway line, uh, the Ontario line that is under construction too. So there is going to be another stop, which is Moss Park, okay, and that will take you from exhibition to the Science Centre stop. And obviously you've got Queen, that will take you north and south. Alright, so extremely convenient. Some facts about the location. Again, I know you guys are all uh, very familiar with the location already, but of course Toronto is one of the fastest growing cities in North America with over a third of employment opportunities right here in the downtown core. Four minutes to Queen Station, and just walking distance to all of these amenities here. Okay, so this particular location has a near perfect walk score, transit score, um, and a hundred employment score too. But right now, if you actually pass by uh, Queen and Church. It's only about two stories. There is a, like, it's a yellow building right now, a yellow establishment. I think it's actually your dwelling place. But it is a heritage building. Okay, so this building is over 100 years old. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a nice fist facelift. We're not going to remove the facade. It's going to remain as it is. Okay, and it'll be beautiful. We'll incorporate it into the building. Um, and of course, the building itself will be very sleek, very modern, very clean. Um, and it'll just be a nice addition to what's already there. So some useful information about the building. Um, it is one tower, one community, 445 suites, 57 stories tall. The size range will be from 408 to 809 square feet, and then there's a breakdown of what types of suites below. So here you can see, studios will obviously be in the 400 square foot range, three bedrooms, and the 800 square foot range. Um, so I think a lot of people understand that, you know, your view is not as important as the location here. But it's still good to know exactly what's surrounding the building. Our premium view would be the west. Okay, so if anybody's familiar with this location already, on the west side is the Metropolitan United Church. Okay, so the small church, there is a nice little park right in front of it. Um, I don't foresee that moving or going anywhere, so that would be your west view. South, obviously, is going to be Queen Street as your buffer. Um, right now, immediately on the south side of Queen is, is the McDonald's. Okay, so there's not much high rise in front of you on the south side um, up until 89 Church. So 89 Church is the Minto building that is under construction right now. Um, that's about 47 stories, but that's actually south of Richmond. 
To the east is going to be uh, Queen Central, right? 88 Queen, and that's about 50 stories. And then on the north is the Pemberton building. Okay, so that's going to be 54 stories. So going into the site plan, okay, obviously you've got Queen to the south, Church to the west, Dalhousie to the east, and this is really just to show you that there is a bit of retail space. Like I said, that facade is going to remain the same. That retail space is all going to be along Church Street. Um, so it's about 2,400 square feet. Okay, we haven't quite decided if we're going to sell it, if we're going to lease it. Is it going to be one space, three, four spaces? We don't know yet. So we'll see what lands on the table. Number two is the community center. So there will be a community center that's about 4,300 square feet, um, right at the entrance on Queen. Again, that's going to be managed by the city address. The municipal address for this building is 60 Queen Street East. All right, so of course the entrance will be through here on Queen. You'll walk through, there'll be a vestibule, a lounge area, uh, 25 concierge, and then you've got your parcel and your meal room. So, of course, long gone are the days where you pile packages behind your concierge and, you know, have stickers on your mailboxes. Uh, we don't do that anymore. So we'll have uh, parcel storage rooms, which we've implemented in all of our new buildings now. If you, see, if you have a delivery, for example, you'll get a code on uh, the Trendall app. You go there, punch in the code, one of the storage doors will open. Um, most of our buildings also have a cold storage locker uh, for, for grocery oh, delivery. Exactly, for grocery delivery too. So we, we, we will likely have that here too. Four banks of elevators to the north. Uh, the two on the left will service from bottom to top up to the 57th floor. The two, uh, sorry, on the left and then the two on the right uh, will be from the ground to the 35th floor. Okay, so we'll take a look at the scale model. You'll see why. It's because it tapers in a little bit on the 36th floor and up. Uh, so these two elevators disappear and then the floor plate changes a little. Uh, Tridel has always been known for their beautiful amenity space. No different here. We've actually separated into four levels here, which is amazing. Uh, it's kind of like different zones. So you've got the fourth floor, which will be uh, the fitness area. So you've got a gym, of course, yoga, and then you have outdoor spaces too. On uh, Between the four floors, there's over 16,000 square feet of amenity space, so it's quite extensive. One floor up is kind of your extension of your home office, okay? Of course, we do foresee even into the future, a lot of people will still be working from home. So here you'll have some extra space, there'll be some meeting rooms to use, uh, co-work lounges, and then we have this new digital content studio for those who have podcasts and TikToks and YouTube videos that you have to create. You got it. So we are looking into the future. I know this is uh, the trend now. So we've made a space for that too to accommodate. One more floor up is going to be your entertainment. All right, so you've got your party room, there's a dining room, theater, games, gaming room, and then on the terrace floor will be barbecue space, lounge spaces, and then a pet run okay, for your furry friends. There's going to be a staircase here. It's a really nice feature. I know these are the smaller details that we always think about. Yes, there are four elevators that service up and down. Um, however, You'll see here on the south side of the amenities, there'll be a beautiful staircase that will let you access the amenity spaces. So if you're, exactly, so you're not waiting for the elevator just to go up one floor. Um, so here you can do that. I just want to also point out, so obviously the amenities are on the north side. You see these drayed out spaces. These are going to be key, key plates. So I am going to send you guys a link, like I said, of the fact book. This will not be in there. You can see here, it, it goes from a studio to a one plus den, and then there's two bedrooms and three bedrooms. So this is your typical floor plate from the eighth floor to the 35th floor. On average, about 410 square feet. The beautiful thing about these studios, though, as you can see, there is a ton of windows along the north side. Okay, so it's not designed where it's long and narrow. We have one window at the very end of the suite. There's going to be a ton of window spaces here, which is great. To the south will be the one plus dens, and those will be about 525 to 545 square feet. Two of these uh, are mirror images, and they will actually have more than one bath. There are no balconies here. All of them will have operable awning windows, but no balconies. The one bedrooms, from what I understand, will be in the copium. Uh, try to connect. I'm sure you guys are familiar with our buildings. We've introduced this since 10 years, so it's been some time now. 
um, and it's been extremely well received. So of course we're going to implement this with our buildings moving forward. We've got uh, keyless entry, okay, so you've got uh, the panels, we have set up kind of connect the app, so it'll give you access to all of the amenity spaces. So you're not fumbling looking for your keys and your fob and all of that. There will be license plate direct recognition, um, and then again, customers will liberate lockers. If guys are here quite early, uh, we don't have prices in the floor plans just yet. We're hoping for middle of May. Okay, so middle of May we will have finalized prices, floor plans, as well as a link for worksheet submission. Each level will only have about 15 to 20 parking spaces. So. Do the math, there's about 50 parking spaces only available for the three bedrooms to buy. How did you enjoy the presentation? As a Tridel approved broker, I was invited early on to get the preview presentation of the Queen and Church project. It's 445 suites, one tower, 57 stories, and there are studios from three bedrooms sizing from 400 square foot studios and 800 square foot three bedrooms. Most of the one bedrooms are in the podium, so there are not that many available. However, there are many one plus tens, two bedrooms and studio options available in the building. The location is what, what really matters in this project, right? Queen and Church, only three minute walk away from Queen subway station. So your north and south travel is very convenient. And there is the additional subway that's coming in called the Ontario Line that connects from the Ontario Science Center, uh, crosses the Queen Street all the way to the exhibition place. So you can go to the exhibition place, you can go to the Science Center, you can go to Young and Finch, you can go to Union Station and the airport directly, very well connected transit wise. Also Tridel, uh, you have to understand that the land is owned by Bases. However, the entire development is being done by Tridel. And as we know, Tridel is the number one developer in Ontario. They have very consistent performance every year. If you just look at all their previous projects, uh, you can visit their buildings and see the quality for yourself. So that's one of the reasons why the investor may consider Queen Church as their downtown pick because of the Tridel brand name. I'm going to show you a few more clips about Tridel's head office with their decor center and their uh, head office presentation center to give you a little nugget of information about what you can expect from Tridel. Also, I have some nuggets of information in my Google Drive and if you like to get access to my Google Shared Drive folder, please do subscribe to my email in the subscription box below or email me at key at condoanalyst.ca Sales is expected to start in mid-May, which is coming soon, only a couple of weeks away. And the first signing is expected to start in late May or early June, depending on how uh, prepared they are to start selling. So if you're interested, uh, give me a call at this number, 416-493-3955. Consider please subscribing to my emails for any updates. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you on the next video and subscribe to this channel if, if you want the latest condo information and my valuable analytics about uh, condominiums and the real estate market. My name is Key Park, former head of analytics at a large consulting firm, graduated from the University of Waterloo, did math and accounting. And I take pride in knowing numbers uh, much better than other people. I, I plan on doing another video when the floor plans and price list comes. The prices are expected to be around 1600 to 1700 per square foot, which is very good value for a project like this that's going to complete sometime in 2027. All right, take care. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.